Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again. I've received many requests from students, some are from local and some are from overseas, asking me to do more videos on compound interest. So, in this video, I'll be teaching you on how to find compound interest minus the principal, which means that we only need to find the interest. So first of all, we need to memorize and understand this formula. Let's look at this formula. MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N, the whole thing to the power of NT. So MV stands for matured value. So matured value is the interest plus with the principal. And then P stands for the principal. So principal is the money that you put in at first. And then R is the yearly interest in percentage. And N is the number of times the interest is compounded per year. And T is time in years. So to find compound interest, we have to use the formula I equals to the matured value minus the principal. Let's look at question number one. Find the value of compound interest of 5,000 ringgit for two years at the rate of 5% per year. So in order to find compound interest, okay, we're going to use the formula which is MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N to the power of NT. So from the information given, we got principal 5,000 and then two years, which is the T and then rate is 0 0.05. So this is R, which is 0 0.05, and then per year, which means that our N is equals to 1, okay? So we're going to extract out, I'm going to list down the information here. So we need to know what are our P, R, N, and T, okay? So our P is 5,000, and then R is 0 0.05, N is 1, and T is 2. Okay, so I'm going to substitute into the formula. So P is 5,000, then bracket 1 plus. So the R is 0 0.05 and the N is 1 to the power of NT. So it's 1, 2. Okay, so equals to. So this is, okay, we're going to use the calculator. Let me take out the calculator. Okay, so this is the calculator. So I'm going to do the, calculate the bracket first. So 1 plus 0 0.05. Okay, equals and then I'm going to use this answer okay to the power of 2 so equals after that I multiply with 5,000 so times 5,000 okay so equals so I'm going to change it to decimal so it's 5512.5 so it's 5512.5 okay because Mal Malaysian currency we use RM Okay, so now the question says they ask you to find compound interest, which means that you got to use another formula, which is MV minus the principal. Okay, so equals to, so this is 5512.50. So the principal was 5000. So minus 5000. Okay, so we'll get, so after we minus, we'll get 512 ringgit and 50 cents. And this is the answer. Let's try another question. So find the value of compound interest of 7,000 ringgit for three years at the rate of 6% per year. So for this, we're going to use the same formula, which is MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N to the power of NT. So from the information given, we know that P is 7,000 and then this is years. So T is 3 and rate is R 0.06. And this is N, which is 1, because it's per year. Okay, so I'm going to extract out the information. I'm not going to put it here. So P, okay, is 7,000. And then R is 0 0.06. And then N is 1 and T is 3. Okay, remember P, R, N, T. So I'm going to sub it into the formula. So P is 7,000. And 1 plus 0 0.06 over 1. And then the N, T will be 1. 3 okay so equals to okay let's take out a calculator and calculate so we calculate the one in the bracket first so 1 plus 0 0.06 okay then the answer to the power of 3 so equals and then we multiply with 7000 so times 7000 so equals 
Okay, 8337.11. Okay, we round up to two decimal places. So 8337.11. So in Malaysia, we use Ringgit. So Ringgit Malaysia, RM. Okay, in order to find the compound interest, which is the I, we're going to use MV minus P. Okay, minus the principal. So equals to, so 8337.11 minus the principal is 7,000. So minus 7,000. Okay, so equals to 1,337 and 11 cents. And this is the answer. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to my next video, which is how to find matured value, which is the amount received after N years. So if you think this video is useful, I would appreciate a like from you because it means so much to me. Till then, happy learning. Bye.